Greetings YouTube, Sega Zombie here and welcome back guys to another video and yes, I've got myself an Atari 2600 Plus, this arrived on Friday, uh, a bit late to the party, I've been really really busy uh, this weekend, so I want to quickly do a very quick unboxing, but I want to give my take on it, you know, I was around back in the day, I can remember picking up an Atari 2600 off a car boot sale. I remember it really well, I, I had a ZX Spectrum and one of my mates at the time, Gary, his family were, a lot of his family from the States, America, and they had Atari. And I can remember, really enjoyed playing his Atari. And the ironic thing was, is I always wanted an Atari. He always wanted a Spectrum. And I can remember going around a car boot uh, with my dad, me and my brother, we weren't very old. And I can remember my dad, instead of us crazing him, saying, we want this, we want that, he used to, at the very start, strategically give us £10 each and say, once it's gone, it's gone. And I can remember going around, seeing a, an old six-hitter Woody with about a dozen games. I remember a lot of the games. There was Kangaroo, a Western game where you're two cowboys going up and down the screen shooting each other. I think it was called Outlaw. Hero, obviously. Pac-Man. The usual. The usual guys. And getting this has sort of kind of brought those memories back. And I just want to hope this is the nostalgic item I'm hoping it's going to be. But see, here's, a, here's the box, guys. It comes with a 10-in-1 cartridge. Which we'll get onto that in a bit. But yeah, there's the box. Quite a sturdy box. This is £99. I paid for this at my hard earned. Let's cut that open carefully with a knife. There we go. There we go. So let's open it. And there we go. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this, guys, because there is so many videos um, probably covering this. Kind of like that little plastic lid for it. Um, packaging is all important. I love good packaging. This ain't bad. It's not flimsy, it's solid cardboard, which is nice to see because some of this stuff can come in awful quality cardboard, really thin. We've got a quick guide there. This box is going to have the joystick in it and some wires. This, first impressions, it's got a bit of weight to it. I like the plastic, it's nice plastic. Around the back here. These are a little cheap looking, these little switches here, but you've got your nine pin standard, well, we always used to call them Atari ports, but your standard ports that will fit. Um, most of your home micro joysticks, the Sega Master System, the Mega Drive and the like. Uh, we've got the power there. Obviously your HDMI there, difficulty and 16 by nine and four by three. Oh, that one's difficulty. The switches, uh, yeah, feel just like an Atari switch. So yeah, for me, it's convenience. Obviously, in my last few pickups, I've been picking up a few 7,800 and 2,600 games. I would say in preparation for this, even though I've got the 7,800, the modded one, I'll probably move that on now I've got this. Um, but yeah, there's the Atari 2600. Plus, should I add? Let me get this box out. I've opened that the wrong way up, haven't I? Yeah, I have as well. <laughs> oh dear, let's just pull that. There's the joystick. How does the joystick feel? Take the sheath off the stick. Ooh, ah, missus. Yep, that feels like an Atari stick. Actually, I'd say it's got a little bit more forgiven control on it, which is nice. Yeah, I'd say that's a bit more forgiven, that. Nice length cord. So yeah, I'm actually really impressed with that. The first impressions are good, guys. The first impressions are good. And then the top of the box, we have the 10 games in one which is interesting because this is all controlled by a dip switch. So there's no user face, there's no OS on this, there's no 
um, hard drive or SD in there that's going to give a menu. It's all done direct from carts. I kind of like that. Keeps it simple and true to the original Atari. Um, but on here, we've got Adventure, Combat, Dodgem, Haunted House, Maze Craze, Missile Command, Real Sports Volleyball, Surround, Video Pinball, Yars Revenge. That's not a bad mix of games, really. That's pretty good. Loved Haunted House back in the day. That brings back lots of memories, that. But I'm probably not going to focus on this cartridge. I'm going to be focusing on original Atari games, I think. And one new edition that I've got. Um, the new edition is this. This is what got me excited. Because I was not going to get one of these until I heard about these new Atari games that were coming out. And there we have Berserk. And it's the Enhanced Edition. I can't wait to play this. Loved this in the arcades. Loved it on the Atari, but the speech was missing. And that's what I'm hoping is back in this version. And then we're going to give my favourite, one of my favourite games of all time. Um, but definitely my favourite Atari game. And that's Hero by Activision. We're going to give this a go. And... It would be rude not to try a 7800 game. So I've just picked a playable, a, a great little game, Food Fight. So this is in need of some repair, this box. But yeah, we're going to give Splat, Splurt and Slurp a bit of a go. So yeah, let me get this set up on the TV and I'll give you my first impressions, guys. Guys, I just want to add this little... No, I've just taken the HDMI out of the bag, yeah? Now... I do like that it's got the Atari logo on the HDMI lead. Something I was a little bit shocked with though, is look at the dirt on there. This is a brand new lead. And it's got, I don't know what that is. Clearly looks like dirt. A bit shocked, I just wanted to share that. <laughs> and again, the attention to detail. It's got the Atari logo there and on there as well. I like that. You know it goes with this console. How many of us have got all these wires? HDMI wires and power wires. This is telling me it's the Atari one. Another thing I didn't mention is that this is USB-C, which is great to see. One thing I will say though, is I've had to find a power unit, power plug. This does not come with a power plug. So I found a standard Amazon one. We're going to do Berserk at the end. Um, that will be the last game I try. First up, we're going to try Hero. Now, I think we should put this on first so I don't spend the entire video playing this game. To just a quick go. Come on, let's put Hero on. Let's put it in, see what happens. Slots in nicely. Power on. Hero is in. I think we went out of focus there, I'm not sure. And uh, I do love the Atari logo, how it lights up in the corner there. That's very cool, very cool. I like that a lot. Um, let's see if this works. Help if I turn the TV on. Here we go. Here's some Hero, guys. Game start. Oh, just hearing that Atari sound. Oh. oh, I was trying to get in shot, me playing with the joystick. Ooh, ah. And I died. But yeah, here's the joystick. And do you know what? It controls really nice. Very responsive. Oh, I actually moved out of the way of that one. But yeah really authentic the the feel of the joystick it really is really I'm really impressed with that fire buttons responsive All good guys, all good. Uh, 
Now one thing I have noticed, this is in 16 by 9, so what we're going to do is stop there and I'm going to put it, flip the little switch on the back, which I think was this end. There we go. Got there in the end. And we've put that in 4 by 3 which looks a lot better. A lot, lot better. Right, where were we? Oh! Lost me bearings there, guys. Lost me bearings. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I've just fallen to pieces here. Deliberately dying so I don't play this game for too long. That's what I'm doing, guys. That's what I'm doing. Oh, the flashing walls. Do you know what? It looks pretty good. I think it looks alright on this TV, on a modern TV. I like it. I actually think this Atari's done a really good job with this. Oh, and he dies. Last life. This is a pitiful goal. Not doing well at all. Another level done though, another level done. I actually like what I said at the start on first impressions of the the Atari stick is I think it is a little more forgiven. It's not so rigid, it's not so stiff, which is nice. I honestly thought I was gonna die there. Is a little secret here, or a little tip is to fly up and have it. Go down, and that puts you perfectly in place there. Another level done on Hero. play this all night guys, I really could. It's one of the main reasons I got this Atari 2600 plus was so I could play Hero with ease on my big TV and get me fix of it. And this is perfect. I find this my chill game, I really do. It's been a while since I've played the 2600 version of this. Oh, I've went and got another life, haven't I? We'll make this the last level. Yeah, it's, it's smooth, guys. I know this is emulated and it's not FPGA, which a lot of people have kind of been a little annoyed about. But does it need to be? This is Atari. It's emulated perfectly. And I think the price point, £99, spot on. You know, what can you get for 100 quid these days? Not a lot. Just such a pure game. Oh, 
Oh no. Hovered straight into the spider. And there we go. We'll leave Hero there. Next up, let's give a 7800 game a go. And we're going to go with some food fight. So this is a standard PAL food fight on the 7800. Let's power off. Remove the hero cart. Let's put in some food fight. Turn her on. Little bit of a delay there. Loading game. Okay, interesting. So seems to be a bit of a loading time there. Does that mean it's struggling to load this? I don't think that's loaded, is it? Let's turn that off. <laughs> Give the old cart a blow. A bit of a rub. Let's try it again. Loading game. Interesting. Well, I've just put some rubbing alcohol into the edges. Let's see if that does anything. Loading game failed. So I can't get food for it to load. And that's with me cleaning the cartridge. This is attempt number four, I believe. Maybe five. Goes to this and it's just a black screen. Now I've been led to believe that only Rampage doesn't work on the 7800. Um, let's just grab another 7800 cart. So we'll power that off. Because Food Fight's really not working. We're going to try pole position two. See if we get any joy of this one, guys. The Atari 2600 Hero, it loaded first time. Again, oh, pole position's worked. So perhaps Food Fight needs a bit of a clean. We've got a few issues with food fight, maybe, but I've rubbed it with some with some rubbing alcohol and cotton buds. The pins were quite clean, so perhaps it is a little fussy. But let's give pole position a quick go. I think this is a two-button game. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I can change gear, but I think I need button two to go. But it works. <laughs> I can turn. <laughs> I just can't go forward. I didn't think of that. Right, now we're going to give Choplifter a go. So pole position worked, but we couldn't play it. Let's hope we can play Choplifter. Food fight just will not load. Don't know what's going on there. Is Choplifter going to work? No, is the answer. It's just black screen. Why are these not working? I think these um, 40 plus year old cards need to be absolutely spotless. Game loading failed. I don't have that many 7800 cards, guys. We're starting to run out, but we're going to go with Tower Toppler. That's what. Perhaps I've got faulty 
Carts? I don't know. Right, let's go. See, I'm not very good at tower top luck, or as I know it, nebulous. Yeah, you've got to be very firm with pushing up. a game well we know this 7800 games work and I'm awful at that it's a shame that I can't get food fight or choplifter to work I don't know what's wrong with those right guys I've got choplifter in the original 7800 and it loads first time So, I don't know what's going on there, but there is nothing wrong with the choplifter cart. Is there something I'm doing wrong with the 7800 Plus? His food fight. Instant. It's instantly loaded. Look at that. Food fight has worked straight away as well. So, I'm at a loss, guys. I'm at a loss. I want to end this video on a positive because I've really been looking forward to this. And we've got a Berserk Enhanced Version or Edition. So, we're going to break the seal on that. Oh, opening a brand new Atari game. Very nice. Comes in a nice little sleeve, just like the 10 in 1 cartridge. Excuse me for the light, guys. Look at that. Let's see what Berserk is like. This should work first go. It's brand new. Come on. Loading game. Here we go. Game start. <laughs> it's been a long time. Oh, I love that speech. <laughs> ah, he got me. He got me. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Go down. <laughs> Love it. It's gonna get me. Oh, my God. 
This is a lot of fun. Such a simple game, but it's just one more go, guys. That's what made Atari great back then. Love the sound effects. And the sampled speech is just, oh, this would have blown our minds back in the early 80s. And there we go. That is game over. Ah! <laughs> I definitely need some practice at this one, guys. But let me know in comments, have you got an Atari 2600 Plus? Let me know if you've had issues with loading 7800 games. Or any of your old Atari cards. Hero worked first time. hit the side and there we go that's game over i'm gonna get a bit of light and yeah well, let's just give some final thoughts so first impression guys of the atari 2600 plus um i'm frustrated that i can't get the 7800 carts to work hero as we saw worked straight away but yeah gutted that i can't get these to work the, the pins are clean. There's, these are not dirty at all. I don't understand what is wrong with them. I really don't. It's a real shame. These are two great ports on the 7800. But I'll look into that, guys. I'll look into that. Let me know in comments down below if you've had any issues. Um, I am smiling big time at this. And that is the Berserk Enhanced Edition. There is another game, Jumpman. Um which I didn't really know much about that, but I remember Berserk back in the day. Remember the haunting robotic voice of the arcade. And the fact that you've now got it on the Atari version is awesome. I do like these little sleeves. It would have been nice to get an instruction manual like you would with an original Atari cart. But unfortunately, there's no manual, but you do get this little cartridge sleeve. Um... But yeah, up, up in the air, up in the air a little bit. You know, I'm a little bit concerned that 7,800 carts don't work, like we've said. I'm going to try some of my other 2,600 carts. The console looks lovely. It's so, such an iconic console of its time, isn't it? Is the wood grain, the slider mechanical switches. It, it, it does what it's supposed to do, and that's hit that nostalgic button in that brain of ours. And I like that Atari are bringing out these new games. I hope they've got more planned in the future. I will get Jumpman at some point. But yeah, a solid release. I think it's a good price point. I'm now going to battle away and see if I can figure out why I can't get all these cartridges to load properly. But that's it for this video, guys. Let me know down below what you think. Until the next time, I'm Sega Zombie. Goodbye. Boom. Sega, Sega, Zombie. Boom. Sega, Sega, Zombie. Zombie.